wasn't a wizard, but an illusionist. And those behind many of the UAPs are likely not space aliens or interdimensional beings, but human illusionists also. The fallen explanation, which falls within known physics, available technology, and military needs, is likely what occurred. See if it works for you. I saw a commercial version of a screenless aerial projection using plasma generated by lasers over 20 years ago. I have placed a link to a demonstration of such a system in the comments below. As far as faster than light and interdimensional travel, I will once again quote the Wizard of Oz when his balloon took off and he couldn't bring it back. I don't know how it works. If the Navy was concealing a projector for generating decoy targets, where would it be located? The answer is amazingly simple. The Navy's hidden weapons platform, a submarine or a partially submerged structure towed by a submarine, and a submarine has a nuclear power plant for substantial lasers. What would be the design of such a structure? It would be similar to a structure from the Navy's past, but employed in a reverse way, the rangefinder telemeter. The rangefinder telemeter was used to generate a distance measurement to an object from the light from the object, but the device we are considering sends light instead to generate a visual infrared and radar decoy. Rangefinder telemeters were used before radar. A crew member would look into a tube which had two mirrors which would send the vision from each eye to movable mirrors at opposite ends of the tube. The mirrors then were adjusted until the object appeared in both eyes. Since the length of the tube is known and the angles of the adjusted mirrors are known, two back-to-back -back right triangles are constructed, and using trigonometry, the common line of the two triangles would be the distance to the object. The mirror adjusting mechanism would then point to the corresponding distance indicated by the angle. Now let us somewhat reverse the concept. Holograms use a laser. Its beam is split into one which illuminates the object to be seen, and the other beam, the unaltered reference beam, which provides the base against which the now altered illumination beam generates interference patterns when the beams are brought back together. Instead of producing just an image, how about sending very powerful beams to generate plasma in the atmosphere? So instead of someone looking at an object from mirrors at the ends of a long tube, the split beam of a laser or multiple lasers are sent from the ends of the tube to create an image for the audience. A swiveling projecting structure similar to a rangefinder telemeter might be mounted on watercraft. If the projecting structure was at a 90 degree angle to the submarine or tow structure, it would look like a cross in the water. Only the ports where the laser beams are projected into the atmosphere need to be above the water like periscopes. Weird things occurring in areas which are specifically set aside for the Navy to train and test weapons systems are likely weapons testing by humans. It's best to focus on weird things which occur in the 90% of the total sky falling outside of these areas.